Hi, I'm Zhang Han. Don't you guys just love the smell of a fresh homemade loaf of bread? Well, now you can make your own bread in 5 easy steps with the Panasonic Bread Maker. It's that simple. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make chocolate swirl bread with the Panasonic Bread Maker. It's so soft and fluffy and the chocolate swirl just makes everything even better. And to do that, you need to open the lid to add in the ingredients into the loaf. And first, I will add in the flour. Followed by the sugar. Some butter. Milk powder. Water. And an egg. Close the lid and open the upper lid. You can see there are two dispensers, the yeast dispenser and the raisin dispenser. What's good about this machine is that it knows when to add these ingredients into the dough, so you do not have to worry when to add this. So now we are going to add our yeast into the yeast dispenser. Now close the upper lid and then we want to set it to menu 8 and click start. The machine will knead a mixture into a dough and let it rest for about 55 minutes. After 55 minutes, it will beep and you know it's time to add our filling. So I'll see you guys later. The dough is going to be ready in 5 minutes. So let's make our chocolate filling. And to do that, you need to mix in butter. Caster sugar. Cocoa powder. And shaved chocolate. So I'm using semi-sweet chocolate, but if you want, you could opt for dark chocolate or even milk chocolate if you like it. Just mix everything together. So once you have heard the beep sound, it's time to take the dough out to put our filling. At the same time, make sure to remove the blade inside as we'll be using this to bake in the bread maker later. And we have to roll out the dough. And to do that, make sure to dust your counter surface well. You want to roll out into a rectangular shape. I'm just using my hand to even it out to make it more rectangular. But you need not to be so picky about it. And then now it's time to add our chocolate filling that we made earlier. Spread an even layer across. Once you have spread the filling evenly, right, we have to roll it up. So just tuck it in and start rolling. What you need to do now is to slit it into half. To reveal that really beautiful swirl and what you want to do right now is to tie a knot. Okay, once you have this nice beautiful lock right in front of me right here, I'm just going to add that back into the pan, into this loaf, add back in here. Put it back to the bread maker. And press the start button. The dough will rise and bake in the bread maker for about an hour and a half. And once it's done, it will give a beeping sound and we can see the final result. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So it's time now to review the bread from the bread maker. Slice it up. (laughs) 
So this is how you make my chocolate swirl bread with the Panasonic bread maker. Check out the full recipe at www.dezonghan.com. Make sure to click the subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram. I see you guys soon. Bye! Panasonic.